13. <gasps> Did I rate the matcha? No, I didn't. Bangin'. and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually going to be testing and trying out Boxu. If you guys don't know what Boxu is, it is a monthly subscription Japanese snack box curated every single month with different themes and seasonal items and it's sent directly to your door. The first Boxu box that you will receive is called Seasons of Japan. You get a guide in every single box as well which comes with all of the snack items that are within the box and also a matching tea pairing. I absolutely love Japan and and almost all of the snacks. There are some things that I don't really like, but I think that trying this box every month is gonna open me up to all of those different flavors and pairings over in Japan. And hopefully we find some things that we like that we've never tried before. If you'd like to become part of our little community here online, please don't forget and hit that subscribe button. Also, we do stream over on Twitch, so please go ahead and check me out there if you haven't already done so already. Like I said, in every Boxu box, there is a matching tea pairing. So this one is the Ashigara green tea. I already made myself a cup. And it's really good. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'll probably give that like a, like a four out of 10. These look really tempting. Mini red bean crackers. A golden cracker, a thin layer of red bean paste. Its flavors are inspired by shiruko, a traditional Japanese dessert of sweet red bean porridge. It kind of looks like a Ritz cracker. Hmm. I don't hate it. The flavor of that red bean paste is like super subtle in the biscuit. I really like those. Um, I'm gonna give that like a seven out of 10. That was really good. These are the Shiro Ibi Senbei. It's flavored with white shrimp and unami dashi for the ultimate savory rice crackers. Oh, that smells real fishy. All right, let's try these. I really like I don't know if I like that. I wouldn't say the flavor is overpowering, but then you can definitely like taste that, the white shrimp. And it's like, it's okay. I'll give it like a four. This is called a pear fromage biscuit. Uh, this is a 20th century pear biscuit by Kotobuki Seika, a Asian pear biscuit with rich cheese and a decadent white chocolate. Oh my God, that is actually so good. I did not expect that like the, Pear and the cheese and the white chocolate would like match so well and it does really unexpected I have to give that like an, a 9 out of 10 that's so good this is the edamame senbei it's made with edamame bits baked into a cracker and then sprinkled with roasted soybean powder and it has a deliciously nutty crunch oh it was like weirdly too sweet that weirdly sweet I like that I didn't like that. I'm gonna give that like a two. That's a two out of 10. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think about that. I didn't like that the, all the stuff on the top of the rice cracker didn't sit well with me. So the next snack is a Mochin Dango Mochi. Oh, they smell really sweet. Ooh, which one should I try? I love the texture of Mochi so much. So I really like this. I really like this. I'll give this like a, a six out of 10. Probably shouldn't have eaten that. I'm gonna be on a sugar high now. Oh, it's really sweet. Oh. These are the uni rice crackers. It says, this fried rice cracker pulls its lovely umame flavor from uni, which is sea urchin and soy sauce. They kind of have like that, um, like the sea urchin coloring. It's like super, super orange. It's okay. They're not my favorite. I'm gonna give it like a, like a three. I think it's a three out of 10. This is the black sesame taiko and uh, kumamon. Kumamon is from Kumamoto. And he's a character that they created and he's on like heaps of stuff. I know that there's like, he generated like heaps of heaps of revenue for that prefecture. It just looks like a big sesame, like the size of my hand. And it's made with roasted almonds, a sesame seeds, and then mixing them with a sugar syrup, which is known as mazame. Yeah. Yeah, I touched that bunch That is wrong. Oh, it almost was zero. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Ew, they didn't fix it. <coughs> oh, I was checked on 13. Ishika Jima chili oil chips. This is one of the islands of Okinawa. <gasps> oh, these look like veggie chips. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Those are really good. Perfect Moorish spicy snack. The crunch is there, the texture is there, and the flavor is like subtle. It's not too spicy. 
So it's probably like, that's probably about like a six. I can give that like a six out of 10. This is called a white strawberry and this is by Boxer. It is a freeze dried chocolate infused strawberry. I did not expect that texture. Um, okay, if you imagine biting into like a chocolate block or like an Easter egg, it had that texture. I thought it was gonna be more like a crunch with those flavor notes. I don't know how to describe that. It's so different. I've never had anything like that before. I'll give that like a, like a three out of 10. These are the seaweed tempura sudachi citrus. These addictive seaweed sheets are battered, fried, and flavored with native Japanese sudachi to create a crisp and tangy taste that will leave your taste buds tingling. They remind me of, you know, like those like Red Rock Deli like lime chips. They're not okay. Oh, I didn't like it and I don't love it. <laughs> it's a three for me. Unpan is a, a sweet roll filled with bean paste. So we know I'm not a massive fan of bean paste. Oh. I hope I need to take a bigger bite. I think the bean paste is in the middle. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right. I don't mind that. I think it, for what it is, it's really nice. It's really subtle. I think that would go really well with the tea, but I've kind of like drunk all the tea, but that tastes like 20 times better. <laughs> so if you're gonna try the arm pan, have it with some tea. I actually think that I don't mind red bean paste. I think when I first had it, cause I've had it a few times, I don't think I really liked it as much, but now I don't know. I feel like my like taste buds have changed over time. So I actually don't mind it. Hmm. You learn something new about yourself every day, I think. This is the matcha stick cake. It has chocolate in it. It's super moist. And obviously you can tell that the cake is green due to its matcha. <laughs> I just smelled and all I can smell is matcha. Wait a minute, I'm just gonna do it. It's like chewing on a plant. <sighs> Did I rate the matcha? No, I didn't. Uh, the matcha is like a one. <sighs> These are the Don Don Yaki. <gasps> These are so cute. Mm. Oh, these are ba 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 banging, banging, mm. banging. It's like a ten. It's like a ten. Raise the roof a ten. Woo! I've been eyeing this cookie off. Look how big this cookie is. Apple caramel sable cookie. This cookie has apples from the Amori Prefecture, which is famous for its apples in Japan. And this has a apple caramel butter. It has a soft, chewy texture. Oh my God, this smells so good. <sighs> this smells so good. Do I, do, I, uh, do I smell another 10 out of 10? Do I smell another 10 out of 10? Hmm, it's okay. That's like a five. That's really dis- <laughs> I was so hyped. These are the handmade yuzu sake candy. Mmm. Mmm. Um, so I'm gonna give that like an eight out of 10, I think. That's all of the snacks for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite thing about Japan is. Mine is definitely the culture as well as like the cities are just absolutely breathtaking when you're there. And just all the crazy and like quirky things that you can find in Japan. I think that's definitely like one of the best things. Like you could just be walking down like an alleyway and it opens up to like a, a completely different place and like all the little bars and everything else is just so nice over there. So that's definitely my one of my favorite things about Japan. But let me know what yours is. If you guys want to come check me out on Twitch, please go do so at twitch.tv forward slash succubusrex. I will see you over there when we're live streaming next time. But other than that, thank you guys so much for today. I hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!